Hello everyone, in this tutorial video, we'll be creating an excavator rig using VRF Plus Pro. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have set up the tank tracks, as shown in the video. You can watch the tutorial on creating tank tracks in the video linked in the description below. Alright, let's start by creating the meta rig. Press Shift plus A on the keyboard to add an armature. We'll name this meta rig Excavator. Follow along with the video for the next steps. Make sure the root bone is active and selected, then we'll create the body bone. Adjust the parameters as needed. Once the body bone is active and selected, create a custom control bone. Name it Upper Body and click OK. Position it according to the axis of the upper body. Adjust and modify the parameters as shown in the video tutorial to fit our needs, such as widget height and size. Next, create a new custom control from the upper body bone and name it Valve Control, then click OK. Position it as shown in the video. For the Valve Control bone, we need to lock all transform channels except the rotation axis Y. Since this control will only work on the Y rotation axis, set the rotation mode to Y, X, Z, so that Y is calculated first, followed by X and Z. From the valve control bone, we'll create the F, K, I, K joints. Assign them temporary names, as we'll rename them later. Choose Front, then set segments to 3 and click OK. Our FKIK joints are successfully created. Now, let's position each one according to its role. First, position the boom. Second, position the arm. Third, position the bucket. Follow along with the video tutorial to get the correct placement. We need to set the Y roll orientation, select the bones, press Shift plus N. Follow along with the video for the next steps. If you're confused, feel free to re-watch this part of the tutorial. Next, we'll name each FKIK joint as shown in the video. Now we'll add the hydraulic cylinder bones. Select the upper body bone and from here we'll create a custom deformed joint bone. Name it HC valve and click OK. Position it on the target object and don't forget to change the subtype to hydraulic cylinder. Continue positioning it on the target object. It's crucial to set the parent target for both the base and tail of the hydraulic cylinder. 
Notice the colored lines indicating the base parent targeting the upper body bone and a different colored line showing the tail parent targeting the valve control bone. Now, select the valve control bone, and from here we'll create another custom deformed joint bone. Name it HC Boom. Change the type to Hydraulic Cylinder. Position the head and tailbone to your desired points. As before, set the parent target. The base parent is Valve Control Bone, and the tail parent is Boom Bone. Now select the boom bone, and from here we'll create another custom deformed joint bone. Name it HC Arm and click OK. Set the type to Hydraulic Cylinder. Position the head and tail bones accordingly. And set the parent target. The base parent is boom bone, and the tail parent is arm bone. On this part, please pay close attention to each step. Now select the arm bone and from here we'll create a bucket link bone. Name it Bucket Link 1 and click OK. Position the head and tail bones as needed. Press Shift plus N on the selected bone, then choose Roll Target Global plus Z axis. Ensure that Bucket Link 1 is selected. From here, we'll create Bucket Link 2. This makes Bucket Link 2 a child of Bucket Link 1, and this is crucial to establish. Position the head and tail bones as needed. Press Shift plus N on the selected bone. Global dash Z axis. Then select the bucket bone, and from here we'll create bucket link 3. This makes bucket link 3 a child of the bucket bone. Pay attention to the parenting here. Position the head and tail bones as needed. Now select the arm bone, and from here we'll create the final hydraulic cylinder. Name it HC Bucket and click OK. Set the type to Hydraulic Cylinder. Position the head and tail bones as needed. And set the parent target. The base parent is arm bone and the tail parent is Bucket Link 1. You can re-watch the video if you need to understand this part better. Next, select the body bone. From here we'll create the Wheels Tank Domain Bone. Choose Left, then click OK. Position the tank wheel domain bone as desired. Adjusting the control offset and size to make it easy for the user to find. Then position the ground sensor bone as desired. Ensure the ground sensor reaches the outer edge of the tank wheels. Select the tank wheel domain bone. From here we'll create the tank wheel bone. 
Position it as desired. You can duplicate the front tank wheel to quickly create additional tank wheels. Next, rename each tank wheel bone one by one. Now select all bones on the left side, then press the symmetry button in the MetaRig tool panel. Yay! The MetaRig is complete! We'll now generate the rig. Next, we'll activate the Deform collection to include all bones that will become object parents. Go to Set Bone Parents, press the plus button, Select Bone Parent and click OK. A list of all bone parents targeted as child objects will be created. Turn on Display Bone Target and start finding the matching target object for the active bone parent. Select the target object, then press Set Parent. Repeat the process until all child objects are assigned to their bone parent. After setting up the bone parents, we'll test the rigging by moving it.
Now, we'll manually add an IK constraint to D-Bucket Link 2, as this feature isn't available yet. Set the Rig Excavator object as the target parameter, and D-Bucket Link 3 for the Bone parameter. Then, set the Chain Length parameter to 2. Nice! The bucket link works as expected. Next, we'll lock the location channel on the x-axis of the CIK tail bucket bone. Then, change the rotation mode to XYZ and lock the rotation channels on Y and Z. Nice! Next, we'll make the tank track automatically move when the excavator route is moved. Activate the wheels collection first, then select C main tank wheel domain dot R bone and go to the VRF plus experimental tools panel. Choose spline evaluate driver Select Curve Tank dot L as the target curve. Then press Create Driver to add the driver needed for the tank track. Nice. Now repeat for the right side. Select C Main Tank Wheel Domain dot R Bone. Choose Curve Tank dot R as the target curve. Then press Create Driver. Nice! It seems that all rigging steps are complete, so let's test it. Happy test driving! See you in the next video!